Oh, wow. Well, I think the best part about Christy and Carter is that I think Carter brings out Christy's emotional side a little bit for her. <laughs> um, it's so cute watching her go from thinking she was meant to be single the rest of her life till she found Carter and definitely changed her mind for sure. <laughs> It just feels like it was just yesterday that I was following her around, being the, her little annoying sister and what, doing everything she does, sleeping on the couch in her bedroom, but um, I'm just so blessed that she chose me to be able to stand up next to her on this day. I think Christy's going to make a great wife because she's just always been such a good role model in my life and really um, has her priorities set straight and is pretty, pretty level-headed person and I think that's just what's um, so great about Christy is that she's always looking to find ways to help other people and she, um, she just she has plenty of patience and um, I think they just make a great couple. Well I hope Carter is ready to make lots of decisions because that's definitely not Christy's strong suit unless it's telling you what she doesn't want to do, then she's pretty good at that. But um, otherwise, I just hope they have the best day ever and just soak up every single moment because we're probably not going to do this again. <laughs> I have to say I'm a little hesitant to give up my last single sister because I'm definitely going to miss our Hot Country Nights adventures and all the fun times we had. But. I definitely love having Carter as another brother. I'm super excited to just um, add another member of our family to have another brother to look up to and also annoy on occasion. But um, I'm so excited that they found each other. <laughs> I don't know if there's any. All right. Um, thanks, Christy, for being such a great role model all throughout my life. I've just loved being able to look up to you and how you lived your life and how you've just always had your priorities set and you've just done so many incredible things all throughout your life and I am so excited to be here on this day to watch you marry the man of your dreams. I can't wanna cry about <laughs> Just thanks for everything you've always done for me. Thanks for letting me follow you around and annoy you for so many years and somehow deciding to still let me come here and stand next to you and Thanks for all the endless advice and teaching me how to live my life through, through your words or just through your actions. Um, I really just appreciate everything about you and I'm so happy for you. college and now we are nurses together. So I met Carter through Christy about two years ago. And I'm Brianna. Um, Christy and I have been just childhood best friends, um, grew up together doing everything together. We've known each other for about 15 years 15, or so. Yeah. Uh, quite a long time. And that's all. Just <laughs> Christy, when they first started talking, she would always say, like, I don't know. Like, he's <laughs> she wasn't more, sure about Carter she, at all. She just wasn't sure. She's like, he's more into me than I am him. <laughs> we used to have to tell her. And we used to tell her, like, just take it slow. Like, see how it is. He seems like a good guy. And then, you know, finally she just accepted it that she had feelings for him, even though it was very hard for her to do. <laughs> Two years ago, I would not think we'd be sitting here. <laughs> I'm glad we are. <laughs> Carter's going to kill us. <laughs> so loyal and would do anything yeah. for you anything um, for she would do anything for anybody 
I mean, she's the most like caring person yeah, probably I've ever met. Very yep. non-emotional, but that's okay. That was what makes Christy we, Christy. We, we make up for that. Yeah, we're the emotional um, ones. She's not she, very. She has, she has such a good heart, and she's probably one of the best people that I know. Yeah, probably the best person I can count on in my entire life. Yeah. She's very strong in her faith, and I feel like they both have that. And um, they are definitely going to put God first in their relationship, and that just makes me so happy and then I know that that will then build off of their relationship together. I think that Christy's very caring and nurturing. I think that goes well with Carter and she's, they're just a perfect match. <laughs> they are. They are. Never, ever, ever, ever hit Christy in the nose. Ever. Nope, ever. Um, when we were younger we did that and we about lost our heads, literally. <laughs> never force her to talk about feelings when she's ever. not ready. Don't think um, she's gonna cry because she's have, not you have ever. To give her time. Yeah. Um, um, when you think she's mad about something, she probably is, but you're not gonna know. No. She doesn't show her emotions. And don't hit her in the nose. I don't no. know. <laughs> yep, that's about it. <laughs> yeah. I was so surprised at how tall he was. I literally said, yes. "Whoa!" <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but then I realized I, I think right off the bat how obsessed he was with Christy. Yes. In the very very beginning. I just noticed right away how like was and how obsessed he was with her. <laughs> yeah, I and guess. I guess I wasn't expecting that at first, but it was just, they knew it from the start. Yeah. Date? Yeah. I wouldn't call it a date. Met in a bar, right? Yeah, she I mean, she texted us right away and said that she had met this guy at TBR, and that's when she wasn't sure. She said, and he lived in Iowa, so she wasn't sure about that either since they were five hours apart. I think I saw it on Snapchat and asked who that guy was. Yeah. That tall, goofy guy. Yeah. But yeah, she. T I mean, she told Jim Carrey looked like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to live in the moment and take it all in today. Take it all in, not to think about the future, but. Today is the day and just to live. Carter, don't today. cry too much. Yes. <laughs> and have so much fun on your yeah. vacation. Yes. And live, you know, in the moment and that too. Because yeah. it goes by too quick. Christy, I can't believe this day is finally here. I've been waiting for this day for two years now and I can't imagine doing this life with anyone else. I can't wait to see what the years to come have in store for us. You're the best thing to ever happen to me. I'm so happy we made it through those awkward times and made it made it to this point. I have the best wife and new family. I'm so excited for today and can't wait to see how beautiful you are. Even though you're beautiful every day. I love you, Christy. Sign your husband. party and one of her friends Alyssa came and was talking to one of my friends that was there and um, then we started talking and she I mean she kept in contact with me and I mean at that point we kept in contact I started come visiting and then every other weekend it ended up we were driving five hours one way to see each other so about we both we both still say to this day I don't know how we made it through that relationship because we're both super awkward and super quiet. Actually, I told her best friend that there was just something about her. I wasn't sure what it was, but I just found her the most attractive person ever. Um, she was stunning. I mean, the night I met her, and then the second time I actually came down and saw her, um, she was fun, energetic, enthusiastic, and I mean, I instantly fell in love with her. Just the amount of work she's done, she's been amazing through this entire thing. Um, 
I don't know how she did it because there was a lot of times I know she was kind of getting mad at me for not doing much, but um, she was amazing through it all. Um, just can't believe the day's here and that I get to marry her. Um, but beyond happy to be marrying her and I just, I'm, I'm lost for words to be completely honest. Um, I don't know, there's too many to think of this one, but I'd say probably just her spontaneousness, if that's the right word for it. Just she could do, I mean, she, out of nowhere she'll do something random and dumb and witty, but it's still, it's just, she keeps me on my toes at all times. Um, and then just her adventure, how adventurous she is. Um, and then how much she actually, she's adventurous at times and then she likes to relax with me and how lazy she can be with me at the same time. So, um, I also love her love for me and our dog. Um, I was worried she wasn't going to like that big 90 pound dog coming into her life, but she's accepted both of us, so pretty happy with that. So.